how amazing to speak to a full room of students on a Friday afternoon. Haven't you got better things to do than listen to me? <laughs> yeah. I am 63 years of age. Oh, thank you. Indeed. And I uh, was born in London, England, and for the first 18 years of my life, we holidayed in England and Wales. So I never left the United Kingdom while I was a student at school. And then, before <coughs> I went to university, I travelled. And I worked for seven months to earn enough money to travel for seven months. And I went from London through France, Switzerland, Yugoslavia, what is now Serbia, Croatia, Kosovo, Montenegro, to Bulgaria, and to Turkey. Through Turkey, Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, Burma, Nepal, Thailand, Malaysia, and Singapore. I then flew back to Moscow and Amsterdam and back to England. And this changed my life. Having never left UK, suddenly, after seven months, of course it is. А Пол рассказывает, что он родился в Уэльсе и перед тем, как пойти в университет, он очень много путешествовал. Он был, я думаю, вы слышали название стран, был и в Югославии, и в Таиланде. И это очень сильно повлияло на его мировоззрение. Смысл э, сейчас э, речи был в том, что он рекомендует вам, наверное, не сидеть на месте. My point is that I was brought up by a mother and father who loved cinema. Я был, э, меня вырастили родители, которые очень-очень любили кино. My father taught me that the greats were Humphrey Bogart, James Cagney, and Boris Karloff. <clears throat> My mother taught me that the greats were Joan Crawford, Greta Garbo, and Elizabeth Taylor. Uh, John Crawford, uh, Elizabeth Carbot, and... Uh, Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor. Thank you. Elizabeth Taylor were my parents, who were my mother. So, as a child, I was taught to love cinema. So, as a child, my big treat was to go to the cinema. In my early years, my biggest wish was to go to the cinema. Especially for my birthday, especially for my birthday, a special treat to go with my friends. When my parents were courting, they would go to the cinema twice a week. Now, the average worldwide is three times a year. Сейчас средняя посещаемость кино человека три раза в год. But nowadays I go to the cinema at least five times a week. 
Сейчас я как минимум хожу пять раз в неделю в кино. And I watch films from all over the world. Я смотрю фильмы со всего мира. My personal philosophy is that if we see films from other countries, we learn to understand other people. Моя личная философия заключается в том, что если мы смотрим фильмы из других стран, самых разных стран, мы понимаем философию людей этих стран. And my belief today has been reinforced by Variety magazine, the industry trade paper. И мое мировоззрение, оно подкрепляется различными журналами со всего мира. Variety, да, журнал Variety, да, который пишет о кино. On Tuesday of this week, it published a full-page article. В четверг была опубликована большая статья. That said, the number one emerging country in world cinema. Is Kazakhstan. В которой было сказано, что самая подающая надежды страна в кино это Казахстан. It has identified this country as the most important nation in Central Asia for cinema. Казахстан самая важная страна в Центральной Азии, согласно этой статье. And that now you are a fully independent country. Теперь вы полностью свободная страна. And expressing your own national characteristics. И представляете свои национальные характеристики. Separate from Russia. Отдельно от России. And the new emerging youth is making films in the Kazakh language. И делаете фильмы на казахском языке. Not just Russian, some Russian, and Kazakh language, and film festivals around the world want to see new talent, young voices, From Kazakhstan. Кинофестивали хотят увидеть новые голоса из Казахстана. So, I believe in 2024 and 2025 there will be films from Kazakhstan shown in Shanghai, at Berlinale, in Venice. Я верю, что в следующем году будут фильмы из Казахстана будут показаны на Шанхайском фестивале, Берлинском и Венецианском. And in Cannes. Today there are film festival programmers who are looking for new films, short films. А сегодня фестивальные программеры ищут новые голоса в короткометражном кино. Documentaries and feature length films. Документальные полнометражные фильмы. From young men and young women from Kazakhstan. От молодых девушек и парней из Казахстана. Two months ago. I was very lucky because I was invited to a gala presentation in London at the Rain Dance Film Festival. Два месяца назад меня пригласили на гала фестиваль фестиваля Rain Dance. And the film that was chosen was by this gentleman, Eldar, and it was called Mountain Onion. Фильм Горный лук Эльдара Шибанова был приглашен туда. And there was a big party afterwards, and the film received 
very strong applause after its premiere. После премьеры были большие аплодисменты этого фильма. And Eldar did a Q&A discussion with the audience like this. И у Эльдара была сессия вопросов-ответов с аудиторией, подобной нашей сейчас. There will be more and more occasions like this in the coming years. And my earnest belief в ближайшее время будет все больше и больше таких ситуаций, случаев, открытий. И мое личное убеждение в том, is that your films will be looked at favorably. И что ваши фильмы будут в приоритете. Two weeks ago, in London, there was an event called Focus. Две недели назад в Лондоне было мероприятие, которое называлось Focus. And in the Islington Design Centre, there are stands from all over the world. И в в дизайнерском центре были представлены работы со всего мира. Inviting filmmakers to come to their region to film because of incentives. были приглашены кинематографисты со всего мира, чтобы снять фильмы. And because of the astonishing scenery. Yes, and because of the beautiful scenery that has not been seen before. Filmmakers are always looking for new locations which have not been shown again and again. Кинематографисты ищут локации по всему миру, те, которые еще не были нигде показаны. So, for instance, I made a film called Last Days on Mars, and that was shot in Jordan. Например, я делаю фильм Последние дни на Марсе, который снимается в Иордании. Because the scenery of Jordan looks like the landscape of the planet Mars. Потому что ландшафты Иордании напоминают марсианские ландшафты. And the filmmaker Ridley Scott, who has just made Napoleon, Ridley Scott, который только что сделал Наполеон, он сейчас в кинотеатрах, made all his crew watch Last Days on Mars заставил всю свою команду посмотреть последние дни Марса. Because he wanted that authenticity in his massive production. Потому что он хотел, чтобы его продакшн был в курсе. Fifteen months ago, I was lucky enough to be invited to the Munkstal Desert. Am I saying that correctly? Yes. yes. Munkstal Desert near Aktal. Пятнадцать месяцев назад я я был счастливчиком, меня пригласили в пустыне Мангастал, Актал. And this was a film produced by Adlin, who is with us today, and it was called Rebirth Island. Там был фильм, который продюсирует Адилет, и фильм называется Возрожденный остров. Остров Возрождения. And this film, this the locations were unlike anything I'd ever seen, and it's never been caught on film and is one of the most amazing places on earth. It receives no tourists, is one of the driest places on earth. And has an astonishing landscape 
which is unlike anywhere else on the planet. So people like Aglet and Marie Mayra are taking Kazakhstan to the world. Because Mira works for the Kazakhstan Film Commission and does a fantastic job to promote this country on the global stage. Mira does a fantastic job to promote this country on the global stage. So what will happen soon is that the filmmakers will come here is that filmmakers will come here to shoot movies because of the amazing scenery. Кинематографисты по всему миру приезжают сюда, чтобы показать эти потрясающие ландшафты, которые никто не видел. And the incentives that are negotiated with the government. Incentives rebate переводится. Rebate. 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 Скажите incentives. У нас 30 процентов rebate. And it is no laughing matter because this work is going to help the gross domestic product of the entire nation. В этом нет ничего смешного, потому что вот такая поддержка она помогает творить целой нации. When someone like me comes to a country like Kazakhstan because of a rebate, a tax rebate. Когда кто-то такой, как я, приезжает в страну, потому что три и потому что существует тридцати процентный возврат. It means the government of Kazakhstan loses some revenue. Это значит, что государство теряет теряет некоторые средства. But there is a multiplier effect. And this is hard to understand, but when foreign people like me are here in hotels and restaurants, когда такие люди есть, как я есть, когда такие иностранцы, как я есть, в отелях и ресторанах, the money we generate. In your community, мы вносим деньги в ваше сообщество. Is calculated as twelve and a half times the revenue lost. It's tough. It's tough. It's difficult. Можете подсказать по закону по этому, да, что-то? Есть существует двенадцати двенадцати процентов. Здесь нарастающий идет. Вначале они теряют, а потом со временем будут больше и больше нарастать. Нарастающий эффект. Кэшбэк. Да. Существует нарастающий эффект от того, что получается такие важные кинематографисты приезжают и вкладывают деньги в кино. Да. В будущем они же будут приносить фильмы для съемка. So there becomes a virtuous circle. Получается, у нас есть такой умозрительный круг. People like me come to Kazakhstan and have a fantastic experience. Люди такие, как я, приезжают в Казахстан и имеют фантастический опыт. And we go back and tell others about this amazing country. И мы рассказываем другим об этой потрясающей стране. And tourism is going to increase greatly in Kazakhstan. Tourism очень круто развивается в Казахстане. 
money will be spent to promote Kazakhstan throughout the world. And the best advert in the world is film and television. I had an extraordinary experience on Rebirth Island because I was staying in a tent for a few days, 200 kilometers from Aktau. Я был потрясающий опыт на съемках острова Возрождения, потому что я жил 12 дней в палатке. We ate sheep and we listened to fantastic music and had a beautiful filming experience. Мы слушали фантастическую музыку и он наш опыт съемок был потрясающий. And this was September 2022. So eventually, on the Saturday, a driver came to take me back to Aktal to return to London. And after 20 minutes, he said to me, is your mother finished? And I said, yes, sadly, my mother died 15 years ago. And he said, good, Elizabeth is finished. So that was how I learned. That is how I learned of the death of Queen Elizabeth. And so I did not know for three days and then returned. And when I got to Aktal, my phone exploded with messages of this news. But it meant I will never forget how I learned of the death of Queen Elizabeth. И спустя три дня, я узнал только спустя три дня после смерти, когда я вернулся в Лондон, мой телефон разрывался от сообщений. И такой опыт, когда я узнал о смерти Елизаветы, я не забуду никогда. So this experience has encouraged me to say to my fellow filmmakers in the UK and Hollywood, look at Kazakhstan as a filming destination. And this week, Variety has said, Kazakhstan is the number one exciting country to watch because of the new filmmaking talent. И вот Variety журнал он сказал, что Казахстан это выделил Казахстан как страну, где много талантов. So I am thrilled that because of this film festival, the population gets to see new movies and talk about how to promote new film from this region. What I hope now is that your government continues to support the work of directors, producers, and the Kazakh Film Commission. Я надеюсь на то, что правительство продолжит поддерживать фильмы, также также комиссия Казах Фильм. Because it's the best advert for this country, and its youth and its standing in the world. Потому что это это лучшее, что может сделать государство для того, чтобы молодежь была визитной карточкой своей страны. So what I am doing now is that in my career, which has been over 40 years, I have done nearly every job in the film industry. 
За 40 лет своей карьеры я занимался любой профессией в кинотографе. I have worked in the marketing and the distribution of some very big films. Я работал в маркетинге и дистрибуции огромного количества фильмов. Like Top Gun. Top Gun. Terminator. Terminator. Cliffhanger. Uh, Cliffhanger. Basic Instinct. Основной инстинкт. Dances with Wolves. And I financed the film The King's Speech. So I have worked in finance to provide the money to make films. And I have worked in marketing to promote Films. Because what my skill is, is to generate an audience to watch new films from new talent. And to work with filmmakers to help them find an audience сделать так, чтобы новые фильмы нашли свою аудиторию. Because it's not hard to finance a film. Потому что не так тяжело финансировать фильм. It's not even that difficult to make a film. Даже не это даже не самое трудное делать фильм. But the real trick is getting an audience to watch it. Самая главная фишка заключается в том, чтобы сподвигнуть аудиторию посмотреть фильм. And today in 2024 there are now more ways to watch films from all over the world than ever before. В 2004 году у нас такая ситуация, что мы у нас за всю историю наибольшее количество возможностей посмотреть фильмы. То есть мы можем это как угодно сделать. And what I'm telling you now is that this region is the one where most festival programmers are looking hardest. The next emerging market will be very, very important when I am gone. When I am finished, in the second half of this century, Africa will emerge. Самые крутые кинорынки они будут в будущем уже после моей кончины, потому что будет открыт такой регион как Африка для кино. And there will be stories told from 1.4 billion people who barely have access to the internet and mobile technology. И истории будут рассказаны. But for now, it's this region, and what I hope, though I have no evidence, is that this region will emerge like the Nordic region of Finland, Norway, Sweden, and Denmark that Central Asia will become a major force with your neighbors in Uzbekistan and Kyrgyzstan and Turkmenistan as well, that these smaller countries will also provide voices. Kazakhstan will be looked at in the context of Central Asia as a southern country, like Finland or Norway, and the other countries will be looked at in the context of a growing country, which we will only know in the cinema. But you have the skills, you have the crew, you have the landscape, and you have the resources. You have the resources. Таланты, у вас есть команда и у вас есть ресурсы и ландшафты для того, чтобы делать фильмы. That means that you will be able to find worthwhile 
well-paid jobs in the film industry. Um, can I take a break for a moment? In, in, if you do talk amongst yourselves, I'll come back in two minutes. May I follow you? Sure. No, may I follow you? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 yeah, okay. 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 Yeah, to do the same in Almaty. Я надеюсь, что очень скоро мы увидим то же самое в Алматы. Because Almaty is not the capital, but this is the cultural center of Kazakhstan. Алматы не столица, но культурный центр Казахстана. The most attractive city in the region. Наиболее привлекательный город в регионе. And the one with the most diverse and depth of crew in the region. But what Kazakhstan needs is more depth, more young people studying film. In all its aspects. Not just the director, the producer, the actors, but also the carpenters, the plasterers, the electricians, the IT computer specialists, and most importantly, the games developers. Because video games are far bigger, far more important than motion pictures. And the population of Central Asia is young and very well educated. И население Казахстана оно молодое и хорошо образованное. So this is going to become a hub for video games development and e-sports. Получается, это будет хабом для для разработок видеоигр. So, in conclusion. My visit here, my second time in Kazakhstan, I've seen the extreme west and now the extreme southeast. Hopefully I will come back many times to explore the vast area in between. Uh, надеюсь, что у меня будет время, чтобы обследовать uh, uh, землю между вот этими направлениями двумя. But in the near future, today and tomorrow, I will be attending the festival. Uh, и в ближайшем будущем я буду участвовать в фестивале. And on Sunday, I hope to meet with my Kazakh friends to talk about the opportunities in this great country. Before I return to London on Monday, because London has huge festivities at this time of year, as the entire city gets ready, because next Friday is my birthday. 
следующий, следующую пятницу будет мое день рождения, поэтому все готовятся в Лондоне. And everybody gives everybody presents, and there's a lot of eating and drinking and celebration of that very special day. Ну, будет особый день, и все готовят напитки, подарки, угощения. Because I was born at 9 a.m. on the 22nd of December, as my mother told me, and sadly she is finished, my mother told me every year I was born at the end of the longest night. И моя мама говорила, я был рожден в конце самой длинной ночи, потому что меня родили в 9 утра. So, uh, from 9 o'clock on the next day, from that moment, the days get longer and summer is on the way. И на следующий день, лето, лето становится длиннее, а зима короче. So, on that cheerful note, that from next Friday the days will start to get longer. May I ask if anybody has any questions about the film industry? There's a Chelsea fan at the back. <laughs> I have a question uh, of uh, another business. Uh, what's the color of London? What's the color of London? Yeah, blue or red. Oh, okay. Um, well, <coughs> it's a bit difficult for me um, uh, because. Um, I was born in West London in the shadow of Brentford and Brentford was in the fourth division and <coughs> so they have now climbed and they are number 11 in the Premier League but as a child I supported Chelsea and uh, my vicar in church supported Arsenal, uh, so that was a bit tricky. Uh, but the um, when I was uh, seven, that it was the great team of West Ham: Bobby Moore, Bobby Charlton, uh, Jeff Hurst, uh, and, and so Bobby Charlton was for Manchester United. But they all went and won the World Cup, and I was old enough to see that England win the World Cup. You, you can't even translate that. Вопрос был о футбольных предпочтениях, футбольной команде, и был ответ про то, что когда он родился, он поддерживал одну команду, Челси. Родился в Бренте, я например, поддерживал Челси. And now I live next to Queen's Park Rangers. Yes. Uh, welcome to Kazakhstan. Thank you. Uh, I have two questions. Number one is about a very famous movie which got Oscar in speech. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for this wonderful movie. <coughs> uh, one of the greatest uh, in Kazakhstan. We know Colin Firth as the greatest for us uh, actor. And my question, uh, I know that the story was a bit difficult. Uh, your mom, did, is it true that your mother told you to this story uh, to, to make a movie? Is that so? It's a <coughs> I never get tired of telling this story that the script was written by David Seidler. Вопрос заключался в том, а правда, что мама рассказала вам историю и на ней базируется фильм Король говорит. And he wrote this in 1980. Была история, которая написана была написана в 1980 году. And he sent it to Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. And she approved it 
but said. И она подтвердила ее, но уточнила, что it's too raw, it's too painful. Будет слишком больно. Please wait until I am finished. Пожалуйста, подожди до тех, подождите до тех пор, пока я не скончаюсь. So when she passed, then they started to cast it and bring everyone together. Когда она умерла, уже начали готовиться к съемкам. But Colin was not the first choice. It was cast with Paul Bettany, who was in Master and Commander. Получается, были разные кандидаты на роль. And, and he quit the King's Speech in order to make a film called Priest. And Colin Firth stepped in three weeks before the film shot. On the first day of principal photography, Tom Hooper directed Colin Firth and Jeffrey Rush to do all the footage in Lionel's surgery. The breathing exercises, the listening with the radio, the record player, about 20 minutes of that film was shot in one day, the first day. And Colin only had three weeks rehearsal. To perfect that voice. But to me, I know that you love Colin Firth, and I will tell him I saw him last week. I will tell him that you love him, and the people of Kazakhstan love him. But for me, the heroine of the film is Helena Bonham Carter. Because she played Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, and she did this in six weekends, Saturday and Sunday, six weeks in a row. On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday for those six weeks she was shooting two films called Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows parts one and two. For 42 days she did not have one day off. В течение 42 дней у нее не было ни одного выходного. And her partner was Tim Burton. Ее партнером был Тим Бёртон. And their three children. И трое детей. Не партнером, мужем. That's a heroine. And she didn't win the Oscar. Unfortunately. No, but she won the BAFTA. Она выиграла BAFTA. And our hearts. Ah, exactly. Mm -hmm. With another question, mm -hmm. may I ask, please? Uh, also, I know that you uh, produce a Dorian Gray. Yes. Uh, I really love it. This is one of my <laughs> favorite books. Uh, also, Mine too. this is an absolutely fantastic movie. Very good actors. So thank you for this movie. Uh, so my question is, uh, is it more difficult to make a movie for such classic uh, for you, which is more difficult, horrors? The, <coughs> Thank you. the thing is that with Dorian Gray, because you are right, 
It is one of the greatest books ever written. It is the only book by the playwright Oscar <laughs> Wilde. And вопрос заключался в том, что сложнее снимать: портрет Дориана Грей, это фантастический сюжет, или реалистичные истории? It hadn't been told for many years. But it wasn't a commercial hit. It only really succeeded in the Catholic countries like Italy and Spain and France. Не было коммерческим хитом, потому что ну не зашло в католических странах, таких Италия, Франция. But I'm delighted that you liked it and the director was a school friend of mine named Oliver Parker and he directed St. Trinian's and a very recent film which is really good called The Great Escaper with Sir Michael Caine and the late Glenda Jackson one of the best British actresses and it's a great film Super. Оливер Паркер это мой школьный друг, и он снял другой фильм с Майклом Кейном. There is a very good script for the King's Speech too, but it will never be made, and it's there's two reasons it will never be made. Firstly, Colin Firth doesn't have to prove it again. He's won the Oscar, he won every award. Две причины, почему сценарий, король, который говорит, прекрасен, правильно? Нет, второй части есть после второй части. У король говорит, есть продолжение, но есть причина, по которой оно это продолжение не выйдет. And secondly, that every single episode of The Crown costs more than The King's Speech. Корона стоит намного дороже, чем речь. Природа бизнеса изменилась. Jeffrey Rush stayed friends, but became less dependent as Bertie found his voice. Я могу вам рассказать настоящую, но правдивую историю. Герои они остаются друзьями. But during but during the Second World War, Bertie and Liz, Colin Firth and Helena Bonham Carter, stayed in Buckingham Palace. And she put on an apron and served in the soup kitchens during the Blitz. But in secret, there was a plot by Adolf Hitler был тайный заговор против Адольфа Гитлера. To kidnap Edward and Wallace Simpson. 
чтобы похитить с... Эдварда его жену. And they were going to be installed on the island of Guernsey in the south of England. And when Adolf Hitler won the Battle of Britain and England was defeated, then he, Edward and Wallace, would be installed as the Führer and his wife of the UK, reporting to Adolf Hitler. Does that make sense? Yes, I, I, I try to, um, to think about it and uh, translate correctly. Uh, can you help me, please? Да, что Эдвард и что по, по плану Гитлера, когда они выиграют Гитлера, что они, он его назначит э, фюрером Англии в подчинением Гитлеру. Да, а, он думал, что да, Британия станет э, вассалом Германии с подчинением э, семье королевской. Что, что он их поставит на главе. Да, что он это... поставит их во главе э, побежденной Британии. But the spies at the palace of Westminster and the palace, Buckingham Palace found out. And so they took Edward and Wallace and made him the governor of Bermuda. And that's when he was sent into exile and never returned to England. And they lived a very happy life in Paris. Because, spoiler alert, Britain didn't lose the war. Uh, but uh, I, I can do this all night, King's Speech stories. So, uh, what's your opinion about the crown? Did you see the crown? Yeah, oh, it's fantastic. It's absolutely wonderful, um, and it's. Uh, oh yes, the question was, what is my opinion of the crown, which I think is wonderful. It's just very, very expensive, and it's very lavish. They have endless budget. They can shoot whatever they want. Uh, it's, it, it's not fair um, for other producers. When you see shows like The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, great show, but they have so much money. That you see that they do shots where it just the, the camera keeps going. They just build endless sets, um, but they're great shows with great writing. So I'm a big fan. I'm not a big fan of Killers of the Flower Moon by Martin Scorsese. <laughs> <laughs> and I was very pleased that Eldar was able to make a more entertaining film for one thousandth of the budget of Scorsese's film. Завершение, что Эльдар снял бы круче, имея... Какого сейчас это? Ты видишь, что я относился, что... Эльдар снял интереснее, чем Мартин Скорцель. Что он лучше, снят... чем Мартин Скорцель. За тысячную долю бюджета. Another question? Я извиняюсь, я английский плохо а, знаю. Нормально, нормально, да, это лучше, лучше. Давайте. А, здравствуйте. Вот вопрос такого характера. Например, я молодой кинем... кинематографист, оператор-постановщик. У меня нет образования, но, например, есть большое желание э, снимать. Как 
найти, или, ну, в самом начале, как найти продюсеров, режиссеров, а, и даже если когда уже фильм снят, как сделать так, чтобы как можно больше людей увидели твое творчество, если оно кому-то интересно. И еще один вопрос, как вы сами попали в киноиндустрию, как это происходило? Спасибо. And uh, the final question was, uh, how did you do, uh, how did you start? Okay. First, first, first <coughs> It's, they're three fantastic questions. Thank you very much. Firstly, just be social. Talk to people. Because if they've done it, they normally want to explain how. So, in a year... Во-первых, будьте очень с коммуникативным, как? Общайтесь с большим количеством людей, будьте общительны. You... I'll give you a very good piece of advice, which is useful for everybody in the room. Я вам дам ценный совет, который подойдет всем присутствующим. Never come up to me and say, you don't remember me, do you? Никогда не подходите ко мне и не говорите, что вы меня не помните. Подходите и говорите, что помните. Because I will say, nope, I don't remember you, and walk on. Потому что я скажу, нет, я вас не помню, и уйду. Because I meet hundreds of people, thousands of people, at markets, at festivals. Like this. But I don't know your name. And you've asked three great questions that I will remember for a long time. So, let's say in 2025, you're at Berlinale and may has a party for the Kazakh Film Commission, maybe even with Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan and Pakistan. <coughs> and you come up to me and say, hello, Paul. I was the guy that asked three questions when you visited Almaty. And I'll say, gosh, I remember that really made that event happen because I was able to give a piece of advice. Do not say you don't remember me because A, it's negative, and B, it means that I can shut the conversation. But if you say to me, sorry, is it? Я не знаю вашего имени, но вот эти три вопроса, я их запомнил. Представьте, что в 25-м году вы выигрываете Берлинале и подойдете ко мне и скажете «Привет, вы меня не помните, наверное». Я вас, конечно, не вспомню, но если вы скажете «Я вот тот парень, который три вопроса вам задал», то у вас есть шанс, чтобы вы запомнили. Я If you say to me, I remember you because you told some funny stories and people wanted to hear about the king's speech but you were talking about the growth of the industry i can't possibly walk away i have to engage so always be positive всегда будьте позитивными потому что запоминается то что вы говорите это какие-то истории которые вызывают впечатление эмоции because the film industry is like dating. If there's a girl that you fancy, don't go up to her and say, 
You don't know who I am. <laughs> but do say to her, yesterday in class, you made a really funny comment. That was great. Because it's much more likely to get a positive response. And it applies to everybody. And if you... Uh, so, for instance, I'll give you another example. I worked on a film called Restoration. Это касается всех. Например, я работал на фильме, который назывался Robert Downey Jr., <coughs> Meg Ryan, Sam Neill. Great film, won two Oscars. Well worth watching. И фильм Реставрация. Он победил, выиграл два Оскара. But it was a film of Miramax, and there was a premiere, a pre-party a post-party, and a post-post-party. It was a film Miramax, and there were three parts. And at the end of the post-post-party, I saw the singer Peter Gabriel. You know him? Yes. Sledgehammer. And I went up to him, and I said, this is very unprofessional. But I just wanted to say thank you. Я хотел сказать, это было очень непрофессионально, но я хочу сказать спасибо тебе. I was at Bath University, and my room overlooked Salisbury Hill. Я был в педагогическом университете, и I saw you at the Brillig and you came on to do two encores with two boys called Interview and they became Tears for Fears. It's too complicated. Anyway, and I said thank you for introducing me to so many new voices. And he went, never apologize. I love to hear that I've introduced someone to a new voice. I've just signed an artist from Algeria. And at that point, my boss's secretary came up and said, I want to be your sledgehammer, <laughs> and fell flat on her face. And that was the end of the conversation. Um, so, but it was worth it just for that. So if you're positive, even to your hero, then you will learn something. And the same applies to cinematography. If there's a film that you admire, get in touch and find out, because people love talking about what they do. And thirdly, same thing, be social. If you make a pop video for a friend's band, work really hard, not only to make it look good, but also to show it to people to share it. and share it. Например, если вы делаете клип своим друзьям музыкантам, работайте изо всех сил, не просто чтобы показать красивую картинку. So look for opportunities to use your skill as a cinematographer to make other people look good. And that way, you will get a reputation for being helpful, and you will advance. 
работы вот на таких проектах первых работаете как старательно для того, чтобы люди понимали, что вы не только профессионал, вы всегда готовы откликнуться и прийти на встречу. I'm very conscious that it's getting dark and it's Friday night and you do have better things to do than listen to me. And I haven't slept in 48 hours, so I'm going to say something very stupid very soon. But it's been fantastic to be here. Thank you for doing a very, very difficult job. Устал, ребята. Устал человек. Давайте, да, микрофон. Микрофон, пожалуйста. Can get forecasting for a Halloween, Halloween movies, uh, Hollywood movies, and uh, where should we search for opportunities, and where can we find it? Think global, act local. So, offer yourself to your friends, and do anything stage work pop promos fashion never say no always say yes and you will be discovered share your image share your ambition and tell everybody what you want to achieve. Be like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> so it's like if you want to diet, tell everybody I'm dieting. <coughs> And if people say go on, have this cake, they're not your friend. If you say I want to be a Hollywood star, If people say you'll never do that, they're not your friend, because it's totally possible. But do not go to Hollywood, work locally, and build up. Like throwing a pebble in a pond and the rings move out. Just don't jump on a plane and go to LA. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. Do it locally okay. and work with neighboring countries. Ответ заключался в том, что снимайте здесь, развивайте здесь. Нет смысла ехать в Голливуд. Thank you for opportunity. Um, can you say three basic items of success filming, of success film? And second one, um, if there are unspoken rules on A-class festivals that they don't consider low or budget films or something like that, unspoken rules, I mean. Thank you. Uh, no. Uh, so the the the. the The, the best advice I've ever heard is <clears throat> there was a golf player from South Africa called Gary Player. And a particularly stupid journalist said, you've just won the South African Open. You must be the luckiest player in the world. And Gary Player said, yes. You're right. And I find the more I practice, the luckier I get. 
Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So just keep trying and it, write and write and write. When pitching, the, the, here's another tip, never ever read your pitch. Never use notes. You have to use eye contact and talk to individuals. You're not a crowd, you're individuals. I know some of you by name, but it's the Irish say, there are no strangers, only friends that you haven't met. So always treat everyone you meet as your possible agent, or your next producer, or the casting agent who will put you in the next film. Because if you are positive and give out good vibes, it will work. If you are negative about people and say, she's never going to be a Hollywood star, she doesn't look like Margot Robbie, they don't want Margot Robbie, they've got Margot Robbie, they want you. And another great thing about all of you in this room is that by and large, you're young, you're talented, and you're cheap. <laughs> you're cheaper than they are. So you can do better. And that's why I said, you know, I enjoyed Mountain Onion more than Killers of the Flower Moon, and it's much, much, much better value. And that is what you had. So that's my tips and advice. Значит, вопрос, если коротко, заключался в том, как мне на фестивале класса. Я речь шла о питчинге, я правильно понимаю? Не совсем. Давайте тогда вопрос переформулируем, да, еще раз? Хорошо. Она-то не поняла, надо переведите, мы сидим, давайте запишем ответ. Да, я этим делаю. Was there a final question? Ответ заключался в том, что будьте позитивными, открывайте всему, берите за проекты, которые вам предлагают. Вы, у вас огромное преимущество в том, что ваша сила работы, рабочая сила, она дешевле, чем в других, из других регионов. Поэтому это на самом деле большое ваше преимущество, что вы можете делать лучше и дешевле. И у вас очень, очень хорошие шансы на успех. Пожалуйста. Можно микрофон, пожалуйста, человеку? Ah, ah. Thank you for your for your lecture. It's very really interesting. And my question very really short about the post production because you tell a lot about the opportunity for uh, for foreign people to come to shoot here. But what do you think about the possibility to make some post production? Mm, here. Absolutely, here. absolutely. So, uh, because in, in my uh, in my experience, it's usually very difficult. Uh, I mean, before maybe COVID epidemic, it was very difficult for foreign company to um, imagine that uh, they give the material to the other countries, especially for uh, the studios that don't have the strong security culture and they afraid that uh, some maybe things happen, leak of the image. So it's <coughs> difficult to imagine that uh, somebody give the post-production, for example, for sound or for color grading to other countries, even if they have much, much less costs for work. But after <coughs> COVID, we know that many, many Netflix films making India, making in the other countries. What do you think about the post-production in Kazakhstan, the perspective? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That what my partner, Dave Godfrey, in the studio group, 
he has built more stages around the world than any human being. <coughs> Qingdao, China, for wonder. Pinewood, Toronto, Pinewood, Georgia, Pinewood, Dominican Republic, Pinewood, um, uh, 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 and, and Shepparton in London. And he says his vision is the producer walks in to our building with a script and walks out with a DCP, a, the digital cinema version. And thus, they will have development offices, workshops, stages, mixing suites, <laughs> and post-production, because my vision for Amalti is about 20 hectares that will have backlot and two stages, maybe three stages, but workshops and lecture rooms like this to invite people like me to give master classes because by and large we love doing that we love talking we love teaching we want to hold your hand and we really do believe that this country can become an important production and and for genre you know action movies and romance and comedy because that's it's possible but I, I absolutely think it doesn't need to be Babelsburg it doesn't need to be the best in the world it needs to be good enough and you are right security matters so just take it seriously and if you are professional and you take it seriously as if it's your own house your own office it will work yeah thank you у меня вопрос такой вот э, вы говорили по миру мало совет езди чтобы они познали мир вот, фильм не лошал форма на поле полезной там кукушки когда джеки приехал на площадку а вы знаете да что основная группа актеров она была в соседней комнате в психбольнице но он не мог определить кто из них ну, псих а кто действительно нормальный человек что бы вы посоветовали, если скажем, ну, молодой человек заходит снять войну, зону женское, женское, насилие, расстрел в Китае. Снять это любой э, кто, критик скажет, фу, а также поверили, что это действительно расстрел, действительно ну, в зоне, действительно война идет. Войнушку поиграть можем, а побыть один день на войне это две разные вещи. Спасибо. Хотел уточнить, на самом деле, русский смысл вопроса заключается в чем? Как снять насилие? Вопрос в чем? Можно ли снимать, если... Нет, как сделать, как снять так, чтобы я зритель, я поверю. Получите хорошее образование, станьте нет, нет, нет. Подождите, я пытаюсь пояснить по-русски суть вопроса. Смотрите, вы имеете в виду, что мы не можем пойти заниматься насилием, да, чтобы нет, снимать нет. насилие? Да? Как снять хорошее качественное кино? Что поверил? Что поверил? Хорошее качественное кино. <laughs> the, the, there are examples throughout history where the low budget idea and, and I, I, I'm embarrassed you know Eldar 
um, is, is is much better at telling you how to do this is use favors use friendship and you, you know it's we live in an amazing world where I what you can do with your phone is incredible and that you can shoot things that <coughs> will entertain your friends and you've all seen it you, all of you have shot something that has gone viral where you've captured an image that your friends talk about and that's the answer is to just keep trying and do it don't say one day I will direct Citizen Kane make stuff up do short films and <coughs> a friend in Beijing is telling me about a site called Real Shorts and now in China the episodes are less than two minutes and you pay a few cents for each episode and then it ends up as 90 minutes <coughs> try and do TikTok try and make stuff and just like I said earlier ripples in a pond do get bigger and bigger <coughs> sorry that's my only advice just keep trying Только вы сможете найти ответ. Вот, еще вопросы? Ну, не можешь говорить уже.